Hey everyone, Murray Fife here. I thought that I'd show something that I've been um, working on or experimenting on uh, over the past um, couple of couple of hours or so. And what this is is how can we go out and use uh, ChatGPT to go out and create our documentation for us. And I've been experimenting in a couple of things and thought I'd show show what I had. So let me start off and. Uh, I'm going to start off in ChatGPT and we'll make this just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to start by priming this with some, some information. I'll show you all the different options that we have. Now, I'm going to start off and I'm going to uh, tell ChatGPT that it's a, it's a design to create documentation and uh, I'll be giving it some, some abbreviated shorthand so it can go out and, uh, and create documentation. So let's just start with that and say it's short for that. Now, before I go out and start training it a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and just see what the, what it can do out of the gate without doing anything. So I'm, I'm just saying create uh, new instructions for creating a customer. I actually don't need to say Dynamics because I've already told it it's a Dynamics 365 uh, uh, structure bot. So here it's going through and it's creating the documentation. And if we look at it, it uh, says, uh, uh, go to the customer's list page, which is actually wrong. And then it has uh, some other information. So it's gone out and it's really missed the mark, but that, that's fine. It didn't really give it that much information. Now, what I'll do instead, I'm going to give it some shorthand. So a lot of, um, as, as we, go out and create instructions. And rather than going out and being all fluffy around it, what we can do is we can use a little bit of shorthand annotation. We'll see how it um, understands it. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the uh, annotations to say, go to accounts receivable customers or customers, click on the new button, and then I've added a note here. And then I'm saying, uh, set the customer account to A100 and Acme. So I'm using all the shorthand. Then I'm saying save and save and close. So let's see what happens here. So this is, it's actually understanding this and it's saying navigate to all customers page uh, in Dynamics Operations, go to accounts receivable module and then go to customers and then all customers. Uh, add the record to add it, click on the new button, so that's right. And then enter customer details and here's the customer account, the name and the customer group and then save it, review it and return back, return back to the other items and then we can save it and we can exit. So it did pretty well. Now, if I want to go out and change this and get it to create some other, uh, create it in a different format, what I can do is I can say, well, create this as a technical writer. And then this is going out and this is creating the instructions for me. So it's got the heading and then it's creating all the descriptions. And this is going to be more of a narrative uh, view that we've got here, but notice we've got the steps. So we access the customer module, uh, we log into Dynamics, and then we go to accounts receivable, customers, all customers, and then we create the customer record, and then it's going down and it's giving us the new button, and it's actually saying that it's going to create the new, go to add new customer dialog box, which is correct, and then uh, I add the new customer. But one thing it isn't doing is it isn't giving me any of the data, but it's giving me all the steps, and that's great. So this is, this is just a plain Jane vanilla uh, chat GPT going out and understanding things. But let's change this a little bit. And I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to train it on how I want it to create the documentation. But now instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up some, some messages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that you can go out and create sections. I'm sort of try to create sections, but I'm not going to use these. I'm going to say that I want to have different components built here that are different mo uh, modular details that we can go out and we can bring together. So this is sort of showing different different examples here of the different components because sometimes when we build things we don't want all uh, all sections sort of built together. 
Now, because I'm using this modular format, I'm going to add a little bit more information here. So I'm going to tell it that there are some different types of formats that I want. So maybe a recipe or a lab or just data only. And what of these sections do I want to use? So, so that, that's fine. It's showing me some different formats here as we're going through. So the recipe is going to be more like a step-by-step -step going through the process. And then the data only is just giving me data. Now, this, I'm going to go out and uh, sort of explain more on the shortcuts. So I'm going to use some shorthand in here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some different uh, things that I want here. And this is getting, uh, this is, I'm crafting this a little bit more. But if I go up to the top, that what I'm saying is if I'm creating, I want to maybe have navigation shortcuts. And the format of the shortcut is going to look like this. And then uh, this is going to, let me fix that up. It's sort of going to look like this. And then I have these different areas or sections. So if I have, if I want to just have a quick, quick description of what I'm doing, then I have a shorthand version. Then I've also got an objective and then some examples. And I'm going through this and doing the same thing for updating fields and then also clicking on buttons and also adding notes. So I'm giving it a little bit of context and it's just going to understand all of that for me. Now, what I'll do now is I'm going to add three more three more items here and uh, what i'm going to say is that uh, just give it a little bit of extra context and part of it is that i'm going to say that i want you to highlight all fields values buttons menu names submenus and page numbers when you go out and build the instructions and then also if we if it talks about the three horizontal lines we'll call it a hamburger and then also we're going to make these instructions conversational so that's fine. Uh, we're just going through here. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it that same same information that we had here, but and ask it to create the documentation for us. Now it's going out. It's creating some better documentation for us. And what you can see is it's saying it's starting with the detail in the step. We're creating a customer record, which is fine. Then we've got the navigation. Uh, we've got the creation of a new button, and then we've got add the customer. Here's the fields we add in. Then it's going down and going further into these uh, into these items. Now, what I could do is I could say rewrite this as a recipe, and then it's going to give us all of the steps that we're we're moving through. And then I'll say rewrite as a lab. Now, lab should give us more detail because it's got it's got actions that we move through and then also results along the way. But I can also say rewrite as a technical writer. And then it's going to do some more things here and it's going to create all these steps. Now, what I can also do is if I want to look at this, I can say um, show details for step or section details for step one. And this is, as I'm going through, the notice what each of these things that we have here are the sections that I told it to build up. So I could say a rewrite only using section um, action and then it's now summarized it to say click on the accounts receivable module and navigation pane and this is actually for that uh, for all of this all the steps and I can say rewrite all steps and then it's going to combine them all together uh, within the system and create all these different things so what what we're doing here with ChatGPT is we're sort of turning it into a authoring machine, but we're telling it the different steps that we're going to move through and it's giving us some, 
some additional context. So then once we create these, then we can just go and co copy and paste them, and then they really become our documentation. So I thought, thought that was interesting because I do this other ways through PowerPoint add-ins, but doing it through ChatGPT, we can now automate this and maybe uh, convert it into other things like uh, uh, markup um, uh, and uh, other formats that we can use for other documentation. So that was just something that, that I thought was interesting. If you like this and uh, you want to show show the love, then uh, make sure that you uh, like uh, like the video. If you really like me, then help um, help me by clicking on the subscribe button, and then you'll be notified of any new updates along the way. So hope this was interesting, and have a great day, everyone.